to the eighth episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 GCE Science Paper 1, which is physics. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please go on our YouTube channel and check these detailed explanation to each and every question. It is important that you do extensive revision for you to be able to ace your G12 exams. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. By subscribing, you'll be able to get the notification each time I upload the video. B4, figure B41 shows a crane at a construction site raising a steel block of mass 100 kg through a vertical height of 16 meters in 20 seconds. So that's what you are seeing. Then question A, calculate work done by the crane. So again, it's important to notice that when you are finding the work done, you need to know the direction of force. So it's that distance in the direction of force. So in this case, the direction of force is we are lifting this one up. So it's this 16 meters. If it was this, we are going to measure this upward resultant height. That's what you are going to use, not this one. So take note of that one because it's a common mistake. So work done is equal to force times distance in the direction of force. So this distance should be in meters. But we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. In this case, it will be gravity. Then multiply by now, in this case, it will be height because it's vertical. So now work done will equal to what is mass? Mass is 100 kg. So it will be 100 kg. Then multiply by gravity, which is 10 newtons per kg. Then multiply by the height, which is 16 meters. When you multiply this, you notice that this and that cancels. Then multiply 10 times. 100 it will be 1000 newtons times 16 meters it will give us now 16000 joules as in work so this is the work done we do that you get these two marks again this is a common question that always comes in an exam there will be a question that will ask you to find work done Loma numero 2, calculate the power developed by the crane. So we are looking for power. So again, what is power? Power is the rate of doing work. Hence, power is given by work done divided by time. So we need to ensure that the work done is correctly calculated. So if you don't calculate it correctly, then you mess up with the next question. So we found him. Work done, we should be in joules to be 16,000. Then this is done in 20 seconds. Remember, time should be in 20 seconds. So it will just be now 16,000 divided by 20. Then that, which will give us 800 watts. You need to ensure that units are collect again. So if units are in collect, then you lose some marks. So once you do that, you get these two marks. Then, B, given that the power input to the motor is 1000 watts, calculate the efficiency of the crane. So, we are looking for efficiency. Again, it's important to understand the question. If you understand the question, then everything becomes simple. So, there are two ways we can find the efficiency. So, efficiency is given by, so I'll use E, you see, work output over work input you multiply by 100 percent that's the first formula the second formula of efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage which is the work output then velocity ratio multiplied by 100 this is the case we are dealing with pulleys in this case we're going to use the first one to answer this question so efficiency will be now the input is in 1000 What's the output is 800. Then multiply by 100 percent. So it will be 800 percent divided by 10, which will give us 80 percent. So 80 percent is the efficiency. So once you do that, you get these two marks and you get the six marks in total. 
So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel. And don't forget to join me in the next episode as we look at question B5.